and therefore the key thing is that the workflow records what you did but that isn't necessary those aren't necessarily the steps that you want exactly as they stand you might need to add a bit and you might need to subtract a bit in order to clean up the script and that's something that's maybe not quite as user friendly as it ideally might be in the future but it is part of it is Cubepath aims to be flexible in particular and so you could approach your analysis a different way you could run steps in a different order and you could create a completely different script so the downside of that flexibility is that there isn't a predefined workflow for this is exactly what you need to do and you can end up having created or recorded a workflow which doesn't quite match but hopefully looking at this script you can see that it's not it's not the hardest thing to understand set image type you can see it's edge tab set the color decomposition stains you can see the colors are set in here select annotations we see what that did run the plugin for positive cell detection and these then are the commands that it ran or the parameters that we used then it runs the plugin for the smoothing features and then it runs the classifier and it gives a path to that classifier and so every line is fairly understandable but writing them from, from scratch would be incredibly difficult to do without errors and that's where you take advantage of the fact that it's recorded in the workflow you can create the script and then yeah if you end up with a load of extra lines you knew you ran positive cell detection 20 times optimizing the parameters then you can delete the first 19 of them and only keep the one with the parameters that you wanted in the end and the way that i would normally do this is that i would create a script interactively on an image and then to ensure the reproducibility whenever i run this across multiple images i would also run it on my original image again so i would duplicate the project or the data files so that i keep the one that i used for training and then i would run the script that i generate in the end that i run then across the entire project to make sure that they're all run automatically in the same way rather than just assuming that i necessarily managed to create a perfect script that totally matched what i did it should be possible I should be able to do it but i like to be extra sure that I, for reproducibility that the script i have run across all of the images in general but here then we have a usable script the only thing then that we need is that we need the automated or we need to have manually annotated the images if we have annotated the images this will then be able to automate every other element of the the processing we would go into our project we would choose run run for project and then bring over all the images and that would then give us that would then apply the script to all the images but we would need to have annotated them first and save the annotations 